My name is Carl Latosi. I'm a PhD student at Edinburgh Centre for Robotics. So we work across both Harriet Watt University and the University of Edinburgh. We're working in collaboration a lot with the National Robotarium, which is a centre for artificial intelligence and robotics. And my research specifically focuses on um, artificial intelligence, but how we can apply that to projects within health and social care. As someone working with, with health and social care research, but more in the technology space, it's amazing to come to a place like Blantyre Life. Well, they're really sort of pushing innovation and technology and it's a place where some people can come in the community and learn about new technologies and how they can help them live their lives and it just makes me really excited to to be a part of this and and show off the different technologies we have at the national robotarium and how these could potentially be used in the future alongside all the innovation that's already happening so in terms of the wider research project we're really interested in as i said how we can put robotics and ai into the community to really help patients and specifically in this project we're looking at patients that are recovering after critical injury so things like stroke, shoulder fracture, potentially uh, shoulder surgery, things like that. Traditionally um, these patients will be doing some level of self-managed exercises at home potentially alongside health and social care staff but there isn't always the resource there staff-wise that they can help them as much as they need to. Ari is a social robot which means it has human-like characteristics and that makes it really good for tasks that require a large sort of social capability. So things like conversation and specifically for the work that we're looking at, um, rehabilitation. So guiding the patient through exercises or exercise classes. Uh, the robot is really good at demonstrating with its limbs different exercises, uh, allowing them to do some sort of level of, of self-management of their own exercises. So it won't move the patient's arm, for example, but it can navigate around the room. It can speak, it can display things on, on the screen, but it really is about facilitating that social interaction. There's obviously a lot of concerns at the moment about safety and, and systems like these and AI and robotics. What I would say is the work that we do in our research group and then the wider National Robotarium, safety and responsible development is always at the, the front of our minds. And that's one of the main reasons we're working closely with the health and social care staff here at Blantyre Life is to understand what's important to them when they're working with patients and how can we build that into a robot such as this to make it as safe and effective as possible. So a robot such as Ari could be placed within a facility like Blantyre Life and people within the community that are recovering after injury could come and visit the robot and potentially carry out their exercise classes with the robot. The idea is not to have the robot do everything. It should have some autonomy to understand the patient and help progress them in some way. But of course, the health and social care staff still play a huge role in this. We're looking to work with health and social care uh, professionals within, within Blantyre Life in the wider area to get feedback on this initial prototype. Out of that, we will, we will take those design insights and the data that we collect during our time here at Blantyre Life and we will improve upon the system. And the end goal is to hopefully run research studies with um, real patients in the community that could benefit from this technology. Through the people we've spoke to here, there's a lot of appetite for it that it could definitely make a difference to people's lives here. It all depends on, on the technology and, and again comes back to the aspect of safety and responsible development. Do we feel these things are, are ready to be put out in the community and safe enough? It's difficult to know when exactly that would be, but hopefully within, within the near future.